another day of 25 Days of Christmas with a Library. And today, I'm going to be re reading something to you from this book called Weird Christmas, which it's got all sorts of appropriately weird stuff. It's a collection of curious and crazy customs and coincidences concerning Christmas. So the first one we are going to talk about is way, way back at, you could st say, the start of the United States. But the little section here is titled, A George Washington Christmas. And it starts in, in 1776, having lost Long Island and Manhattan to the British, General George Washington began leading 2,400 troops across the icy Delaware at about 11 at night on a rainy, freezing cold Christmas in the hope of making a surprise attack on, German, on a German force celebrating the holiday at their winter quarters in Trenton, New Jersey. The next morning, Washington's force separated into two columns, marched to the outskirts of Trenton, and attacked the unsuspecting German troops, capturing nearly 1,000 and losing only four American lives. Lacking adequate artillery and manpower, Washington was forced to withdraw from Trenton. But news of the victory raised American morale reviving hope that victory for the Patriots was possible and inspiring many soldiers to re-enlist. In his famous 1897 painting of Washington crossing the Delaware, artist Emanuel Lutz depicts a U.S. flag that was not adopted by Congress until six months after Washington crossed the Delaware. He also portrays the Durham boats Washington and his troops used as being approximately 20 feet long when they were actually more than twice that length and shows the crossing taking place during the day, although it actually happened at night. And a neat thing is, I believe it's this year, the quarter is actually a image of George Washington crossing the Delaware, and I'll pop an image up here of that. So that can be a neat little factor if you see that, and then there's all sorts of more information you can go into to get more details about that. But I thought that was an interesting little fact, and we'll see you tomorrow.